Hey everybody, Kevin here from Humble Craftworks. Welcome to another episode of Woodworking with Mr. Kevin. In today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to shape up a bunch of door parts using this Freud router bit. This is an all-in-one. It does the styles and rails. You don't have to take it out of your router. Like most of them, you have to take one bit in, put it in there, set it up, run it, and then take that bit out and then put it in the other one. And it's kind of annoying and it's, it takes a while. This one, you just put in once and you raise it up and down. I got a almost 200 linear feet of door parts that we're going to shape up today. Basically what we're going to go over is uh, the setup and then running it and see how it works. I'd never seen one of these before and I was at the uh, lumber yard the other day and I saw that and I was like, huh. And it wasn't that much money really compared to a, a normal set. It's Freud. Freud's a pretty good company. Uh, they're not a sponsor at all. I bought all this crap with my own money and uh, I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just telling you uh, this might be a good idea because it'll save you time from having to set up a bunch of times, just uh, put it in once and then raise it up and down. Let's get to it. We're gonna use the old uh, uh, revitalized router table that I made from uh, a couple of videos back. And we're also gonna use the little Grizzly uh, baby power feeder. We'll set it up and I'll, uh, I'll show you how this whole thing works. Here we go. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, got me again. Damn thing's trying to kill me. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Let's take it out of this little case. Uh, it's got double bearings, one for the top and one for the bottom. Oh man, thing's really in there. This case is very cool because if you chip the carbide parts on here, it would not be good. So uh, it's better to keep it in the case. And like I said before, this guy just goes up and down um, to make the doors. So I think we do the uh, styles and the rails with this one and then the end cuts with this bottom part down here. I downloaded this off the uh, Freud Tool website. And it shows you how to set it up and all that stuff. You can download that. It works pretty good. So usually what you have to do is you have to get uh, two different cutters, like these guys right here. This is white side. So you do this one first, and you shape all the styles and rails uh, on the inside part. And then you do the ends with this guy right here. And you have to take the bit out and reset it up and all that. And this takes forever. I don't really like using these. I think I've used them twice. And I've had these for like 15 years. So, uh, yeah. And then you also have, uh, if you want to do like shaker style or whatever, you set all these up and you do typical uh, cope and stick, you know. My, when I use my shaper, we'd have cutter setups like this for doors. And you'd have to set them up and then you'd run them and you still have to uh, take one part off, shape one part and then do the other part. And it was always messing with it. So using the Freud one piece router bit is a good idea. So you're not always fiddling with your shaper or your router table. So we're gonna give it a shot and see how it works. All right, here we go. All right, we have our wrenches ready to go. We have our router body right there ready to go. It is unplugged, always unplug your router. We have our bit and we're gonna stuff it in all the way to the red line because that's where you want it. Uh, if you can get it in that far, that's a good place to have it. There it is. So it's in as far as you can get it. All right, we're gonna tighten these guys up here. Make sure that puppy's snug. All right, and this router bit is not supposed to be used at anything over like 16,000 RPM. So I was looking for the speed of this router bit um, on here, and it's not here. That's worthless. I think they would put a maximum speed on this piece of information right here. Uh, nope, wear eye protection, follow safety instructions, never use a router bit that's damaged or dull. You know, all that stuff. Uh, the bit over an inch and a half should be used only in a router table, which we're doing. Um, but I can, I've, I've shaped things by hand worse than that. That ain't nothing. Use multiple passes. Nope. And uh, always make sure that the router bit shank is 80% in. Yes, we're doing that. I do not exceed the maximum recommended RPMs. Uh, yeah. But it doesn't tell you what it is. It, how hard would that be? All right, so I spend 10 minutes and I found this. I don't know if, how this is gonna work. It's kind of shiny. There we go. All right, there it is. All right, so there we go. So 18,000 is what we're gonna do. That's the maximum speed we're gonna set. I always set it a little lower. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set this to 16,500, which is lower than the recommended, but I think that's a good speed. All right. So this thing is all in there and it's tight. It's in 100% of the way, not 80% of the way, because uh, I think I can get that up in there to where I need it to be. 
The only way to do this is I'm going to flip this up like this. Hey, look at that. I found a piece of curly maple. That's awesome. Slide this in the hole. I'm going to be very careful getting it up in the hole. Boom. Woo, get in there. This is why I need a new uh, router insert thing. All right, so, because this thing's shot. It's a million years old. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip it around so you can see over here. I'm just going to loosen the router bit up until... Oh, see how that is? That's the only problem with this. This thing is garbage. It's so freaking old. And if I can do it with this damn thing, you guys can do it with anything else. You know what I'm saying? I got the bit in and it's set in place. I uh, kind of adjusted it to fit. And all you do is go in there and mess with it up and down. I really want to get a newer uh, system than this. This is 20 years old. This is a Rousseau plate and it's broken. Uh, this router is probably 15 years old, old Porter cable, and I broke it too. I break everything. Um, but before we do any of this, we have to set this fence up so it's flush with this router uh, bearing right here. This is an inch and a quarter bearing, and uh, this right now is set up for, for little half inch bearings. So uh, I'm gonna move this fence. There it is, all right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, screw this back down. All right, so the fence is in place. I'm gonna double check it here, make sure it's uh, right where we want it to be. Yep, right on the bearing. Okay, now that we've done that. All right, now I can turn this back on. Ready, here we go. All right, the way we set this up is we adjust it from underneath here and we want the top part right here, which is face down. So this is the face, face down. And the top part of the cutter is where we're gonna go first. Boom, just like that. And I think that's pretty good. And it's all locked in place. I had to uh, tighten this nut up down here because when I turned it on the last time, it kind of vibrated down. And if your router bit's not tight, it will do that and that's not good. So the next thing we need to do after we have the bit set in place, is to um, put the power feed on it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring this down and we're gonna set it on top of this piece of three quarter inch uh, setup piece that we have, we're right down on top. Uh, I'm gonna to move this out a little bit. There's two wheels in here. These two wheels here and we got the router bit. I'm gonna to try to put this router bit, this router bit here in between these two wheels here. Okay, cause I don't want the wheels to get chewed up. All right, that looks good. So we're gonna lock this back into place. I'm gonna take this knob right here, which makes it do all sorts of crazy things. The dogs are chasing something. And I'm gonna loosen this up. I'm gonna turn this in a little bit. I'm gonna take a picture of it with my camera. Can you see how that is? I took a picture of a picture of a picture. So right there, see the angle? A little bit of an angle. All right, make sure everything's tight. Tighten this guy back here, which is the one that keeps it from going up and down. And what happens is when you take this out this piece out you see it drop see that it drops down that little bit of pressure will help push everything through so right now what we're going to do is we're going to just shape that part right now and after we do all 200 feet of it then we're going to shape this cut here give it a good a little wiggle this thing wiggles a lot but it won't go anywhere i got to switch down here and see if they both turn on at once ready here we go oh the router is not on okay so Everything's clear, here we go. Sounds a little vibrate doesn't it? All right, now we're gonna double check it just, just to make sure it didn't do anything crazy. And it's in pretty much the same spot. Huh, it makes, it makes a really weird noise. It shouldn't sound like that. Anyway, all right, we're gonna lower this down now. I'm not sure why it sounds that way. Put a little pressure on it when I'm uh, tightening it up. Just push down on this part here. Let's get a test piece, see what happens. So both the power feed and the router table are hooked up to my table down here so I can turn them on and off. Now right here, like that. We got our headphones, we got our safety glasses, <laughs> and uh, let's run a piece. We're just gonna practice. This is face down. Oh, I broke it. Okay, let's say this is the face. And let's get this puppy and see how it works. See that? That looks pretty good.
pretty good. Here's the end. It's not bad at all. Here's the, the one we did last time. I doubt it's going to fit perfectly. Let's see. There we go. There's the end. That's what the coping stick's going to look like right there. It should be all right. This is a piece I did like squeakers. This is a piece I did like three weeks ago. So I got it set up pretty good. Now that we got that all set up, man, should we just go for it? I'll just time lapse this real quick or just speed up the video. I'm just going to do a few and I'm going to turn you off and I'm going to do all 200 feet of that. And uh, then we'll set it up for the other cut and we'll go from there. I, I really like this little grizzly. It works pretty damn well for the price. Um, I've heard, you know, people grizzly. I, I have a lot of grizzly tools if you've seen my videos. Uh, they work pretty good, except for the motors are kind of poopy, but uh, uh, yeah, it is what it is. You get what you can afford. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Magic button, and I'll see you in a minute. Voila, 185 feet of styles and rails. Took me about an hour and a half to shape it all up. That bit worked amazing. Uh, router, <laughs> not so much. I need a new router and I need a new top plate. So I'm gonna take these now, wrap them up with shrink wrap, stick them in the office, start building the rest of this project. And when we get back to the doors, I'll show you how to uh, shape the rails. So we're gonna go through the time machine right now and uh, I'll show you in a few weeks from now. Ready, here we go. Hey, check it out. All right, so what I got to do is I got to re release the Kraken under here like that. Now we're going to raise this bit up. We're going to raise this Johnson up and it runs out eventually and stops moving where you want it to. There we go. It's got to go way the hell up there. All right, uh, here we go again. What I'm doing here is I got to push the button in and then push it up and then it, hopefully it'll catch somewhere. See how that's working? See, it's so old and busted. So this tongue, it's got to go up even more. I need my thicker glasses. I got my real glasses, my driving glasses on. Well, I can see twice as good. Oh boy. All right, now it's got to go down just a little bit. Get right there, it looks pretty decent. Lock it into place. And it moved. Of course it did. That looks like it might work. Uh, we'll try this side. Okay, so here's, here's the deal. Every time you set an old pile of poop like this up, make sure you plug it in and you turn it on and let it run for a second because it's liable to settle on you. <laughs> and that's very unsettling. Let me make sure this is off. Turn it on. Uh. All right, that's it. It's right on the money for that one. Yeah, it's right in there. So it's not hitting or anything. All right. I'm gonna do a test piece first, okay? First, I gotta go find my push stick. <sighs> Excuse me very much. So, we're gonna do the first test. We got the magic button, hopefully it works. And hopefully this works. Here we go. So if this works, and it's the right size, you should be able to take one of these and stick it inside the other, right? Like that. This is a part for the uh, double-sided face frame. It's got those two raised panels in it. That looks pretty good. Oh, there's a piece of crap in there. That's why it's not closing. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? You see that little piece of crap that's in there? You gotta make sure that none of that's in there because it'll screw you up. A little bit of flapper right there. You gotta get rid of that stuff. And if you wanna sand this edge before you assemble it, Make sure you sand that with 320. See how rough that is? So if you sand that with 320, it won't ruin the profile. Squeakers. It's just enough where it won't destroy it. Do you got any 320? Look, I have a piece right here. Just sand it with 320. 
But to get rid of the fuzz when you're assembling it, 320 works really good. There it is. 320. There you go. They're all shaped up. Uh, they all fit within each other pretty well. The parameters are pretty close. Um, you know, put one inside the other. That's on one side, and this goes on the other side over here. Seems fairly close and fairly nice. Uh, the joint is tight enough. Um, what I really like about this bit right here, and I'm going to zoom in again. What I really like about this bit is you just raise it up and down, and it's got a rub collar on the top and one at the bottom. So um, when I'm running, when I'm running the rails through, it's actually just running on that bearing down below a little bit. It's just hitting that little tiny shoulder right there, and it works really good. Um, so you run it through, boom, it's good to go. And the reason I back it up is for the reason you just saw, if you were trying to do that by hand and it wiggled like that, you'd have uh, a nightmare. So I always just make a little backup piece right here and we'll run it on through. Just like that, it has the shape on there and everything. There it is, already cut into it. And it's very cool. And that's actually, and this is actually hitting the uh, roller bearing also. Just barely. So the new uh, all-in-one door and rail bit, I like it a lot. Made by Freud. It was like 120 bucks. So if you want to save yourself some time and not have to switch out your uh, router bits every 10 minutes for making doors or whatever, just uh, buy the all-in-one and uh, raise it up and down. And there it is. It's pretty simple, just like that. All right. All right, now I have to get back to work. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, fling, fling, the bang, bang. <laughs> And uh, you have yourself an awesome day. Go outside and play. Hug somebody you love. Be safe out there. And I'll see you next time right here on Woodworking with Mr. Kevin. <laughs> That's me. All right. And uh, I'm just going to clip my hands and disappear. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? I'll see you next time. Bye. Are they still watching? Can you hear me now? <laughs> oh, I'm getting poked in the butt. What the hell? Gotta watch those things. Well, here you go. There you go. <laughs> here you go. There you go. Everybody go. Go. Just get the hell out of here. All right, everybody. Well, there you go. Oh, God. That damn thing got me again. All right, everybody. Well, I'm doing this with my hand. Well, here we go. Gotta go face down. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm just gonna put everything face down to begin with. <laughs> face down. Remember that. Face down. From their website. Website? Website. Blah, 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 blah. That took forever. That was ridiculous. <laughs> okay, give me a minute.